completely full there of white stuff. And all around this white enhancing material is synovitis. So these images from the mid 90s, and we were one of a few groups around the world then looking at this, started to say, this is showing us inflammation. We wonder what this is in the bone. There's this white stuff there in the bone as well as, and we knew it was always roughly proportional to how much synovitis was immediately adjacent to it. We did very complex research using rulers. How close is everything to where the inflammation is? And we quantified the synovitis using that same ruler. So it was complex stuff. So at the time, I thought, how are we ever going to get at this? Meanwhile, the previous speaker, George Shett and Fiona McQueen in New Zealand, took people who were getting their MCP heads replaced and looked at the histology of it. Remember when we used to do MCP head replacements? I'm struggling to find old enough looking people in the audience here. But um, I always thought there wouldn't be enough bone left, but indeed there were many bones there that they could find. And the histology showed that these were osteitis, that this was an inflammatory cell infiltrate infiltrating in between the trabeculae of the bone. So you've got a synovitis, you've got a cytokine milieu, you've got cells infiltrating through micro cracks we think, that's not totally proven yet, but infiltrating into the trabeculae, and if, they, if that osteitis persists, it rots, breaks down the trabeculae, and you end up with a hole called an erosion. So now we understand how you move from synovitis to holes in bone called erosion. Now, one thing we did find is that there's not much edema in bone marrow edema. So there's part of the hidden story is there's not a lot of liquid in this.